In this video, we will study about sheave or pulley design. Now, this is the basic diagram of assembly that we have seen in each and every video. Now, here there are three pulleys that we are going to use it. Number one, there are moving pulleys which are moving with the axle or this whole assembly, the snatch block. And there is one more pulley which is fixed, which is called as compensating pulley. So these pulleys, we are going to see it in this video. Now, first we will go with why we need this multi-pulley system. Now, in hoisting mechanism, we use multi-pulley system means what we use number of pulleys. So if you check with this example, now if we have a particular weight that is W, and if we are using particular force that is P. And we have only one pulley. Now, if we check it, the power required will be equal. That whatever the weight of uh, this thing, we need the similar power. Uh, sorry, similar force to lift it. If you are using, if you are going to use it, only one pulley. Now, if you'll go with the next picture, you'll come to know that the pulley's position is changed. And in this case, you will need half of the weight means what the effort whatever we needed it's half of the weight of this thing next if we'll increase one more pulley in this particular fashion then it will be the similar one your efforts will be half of its weight similarly if we'll change the multi pulleys if we'll use three pulleys then it will be one third of it one third of weight and if you will use four pulleys it will be one fourth of previous power. Now, if we we'll compare the first one and the last one, you'll come to know here whatever we need efforts or whatever we need force that is exactly equal to the weight. But if we we'll check it here, this effort or force it is one fourth of weight. So, this is the difference between single pulley and multi pulley, and that is why we use multi-pulley system in case of hoisting mechanism to reduce the effort now as we are dealing with the pulley so we should know about efficiencies now it will be it is depending on the number of faults on multi-pulley system plus load to be lifted now if we check it's up to 40 kN if it is we are going to use it two volt system and the efficiency of pulley we are going to consider as 0.975 0.97 sorry now similarly for 40 to 200 it will be 4 volt system and it will be 0.95 similar like this but the most of the questions those are in this one 40 to 200 4 volt system and the efficiency of the pulley we are going to take it 0.95 means what 95 percent now this is a general diagram of a pulley how this pulley looks like or sheep looks like now there is one more term which is called as a fleet angle now here we have fleet angle if we check for the drum and compensating pulley then whenever the rope is now this part is rope whenever the rope is attached on it it will create some angle if we will draw one perpendicular from this it creates some angle over here and that angle is called as fleet angle and generally that fleet angle should not be greater than 5 degree so if it is lesser than 5 degree then it is safer we will discuss in detail in case of numerical but just remember now that this word is called as fleet angle what is meaning of a band now this is the most important term in case of a rope and a pulley now what is that if we we'll check it here, there are two pulleys in each picture. Now here is pulley 1, here is pulley 2. Now this pulley, it is rotating in anti-clockwise direction. And similarly, if we we'll check for this pulley, it will also rotate in anti-clockwise direction only. Now this rope, the blue color line, it is passing over from pulley 1 to pulley 2. Now here it is starting. From somewhere here it is starting it is in contact with this and it is leaving somewhere here now what is meaning of a bend then 
the bend is the point where pulley touches the surface of sorry where the rope touches the surface of pulley and where the rope leaves the pulley now if we we'll check with this here if we we'll consider from this part here is the first point where the rope is leaving the pulley one the second point it is again the point where the rope is in contact with the pulley one pulley two and at point three it is leaving now why we have considered this one two three as the direction of rotation of these two pulleys are same one so that is why this is the point one this is point two this is point three so here we consider three bands in it so these points are called as bands so what is the meaning of a band it is simply the point where a rope becomes in contact with pulley or leaves it now similarly we will take the another example that there are two pulleys and here we have two different directions now here it is turning in clockwise so of course this will turn in anti clockwise opposite direction of pulley one now why is that so here the structure of these two pulleys is different one and the rope is moving from pulley one and it is moving to pulley two now here is the first point where it is leaving here is the second point where it is again in contact with the pulley two and here it is third point it is again leaving now the thing is here the first point it's fine but here we have considered here double now why is that so because the direction of rotation of pulley is changing so that is why in the first case we are going to take it twice and here it's a normal one fourth one so here it is turning in clockwise so this is clockwise then as the rope is moving to the pulley too so it is rope is turning in anti clockwise so that is why here we are going to consider two bends so in simple manner whenever there is a change in rotation of pulleys you have to consider the bend double so that is why here we have four bends now what is the relation between this bend and life of rope as the number of bends will be increased the life of a rope will be decreased so this is the equation less number of bends more life more number of bends less life of a rope now next we are going to see about compensating pulley already we have seen where the compensating pulley locates now what is the function of compensating pulley now as we have seen in the diagram the compensating pulley it is located at the center of the system and it does not rotate it remains fixed over there it doesn't have any power supply different power supply but it remains fixed now what is the purpose of it now for lifting purpose suppose by mistake one of the pulley got stuck now we have multi pulley system and in between multi pulley system there are four pulleys suppose and out of that the one side of the pulley is stuck then what will happen there will be difference in the level there will be a difference in the level of these two pulleys so to avoid that this compensating pulley will balance that so as is mentioned this suspension will cause imbalance and that balance will be done by the compensating pulley so the compensating pulley functions or its function is to balance these rotating pulleys so that is why compensating pulley plays important role in lifting the load thank you